Welcome home, Rat Pack. Marcus here, and welcome to Comfort Cartoons, the show where I collect absolutely everything from the late 90s, 2000s, all the way to the modern day. And I'm also trying to create the world's biggest SpongeBob and the world's biggest Nickelodeon collection. But not just that, the creator and CEO of this channel did appear on an episode of Who's That Pokemon? Who's That Pokemon? But I hope you beautiful people are having an amazing day. And if you guys aren't, you know the drill. All-star bra, camera flip. Hold on to your diapers because the mighty green dinosaur, Reptar, is here to squash the competition in Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2. It's about to get a whole lot brighter, Rep Pack, because your boy is here. And today, me and Mitchell are going head-to-head -head in an all-star collecting brawl. <laughs> you expect a kick, huh? This is boxing. Oh, no. That's an illegal move. <laughs> <laughs> now we transition to UFC. <laughs> We are going to be having a battle at the thrift. If you guys saw the last episode we did of this, we introduced a new item being the Wheel of Fictionality. Not the Wheel of Musicality, but we love that as well. That's why it's inspired by that. The Wheel of Fictionality, which is a wheel where we spin it, whatever cartoon or nostalgic property it lands on, that's what we go hunting for at the thrift store. Okay, so we are going to be taking off. Doesn't mean these titles won't reappear, but because we covered them in the last episode, we are going to be removing Toy Story and and Scooby-Doo because Mitchell got Scooby-Doo last time and I got Toy Story. So to keep things fresh, we're gonna remove the topics that we have previously did. And again, they could return for sure. And also if we see something Scooby-Doo or Toy Story that is just an absolute grail, something we have to pick up, then of course we're gonna pick it up. I mean, especially Scooby-Doo DVDs. You guys know I'm still on the search for every single Scooby-Doo movie I could possibly find on DVD. So we're not gonna leave that, but it's not our focus point. So let's see what we we got here so adding to the list one of our new channel favorites here for sure for me because I just want to get more stuff to add to it especially under the Nickelodeon branding is TMNT so Ninja Turtles so in TMNT I figured we do that in the green makes more sense yeah <laughs> Now what's in the blue? What is in the blue? Mitchell came up with this idea for the blue, so we're gonna be doing the adult cartoons. Not too adult, but you know, just like Family Guy, you know, something you'd see in the ad adult pool, for example, Adult Swim. So Adult Animation 15 Plus, we have it on there. So now we will spin the wheel. I don't know who spun it first last time. I think it was- I think I did. Yeah, so this time I'll spin it. Let's check this out, okay? Three, two, one, spin it in! Disney and Pixar. <laughs> hey. Disney and Pixar is like Toy Story, but even more. Yeah. So, <laughs> that is a good one. That is gonna be tough to beat. Yeah, I'm probably gonna get Pokemon now. <laughs> is it my turn? Yes, it is your turn. Come on, no whammies. Hey, I'll take TMNT, TMNT. <laughs> that's a good one. There's some good TMNT stuff out there. Okay, so again, guys, we are looking for everything you see on this wheel. If we see something that stands out, of course, we're gonna get it. You could still win, even if you don't find one TMNT stuff, but you find so much SpongeBob stuff, so much Nickelodeon stuff, that it just obliterates even the couple items the other person found on their topic. But you get major points if you can find stuff within your category. So you guys are gonna let us know who won this one. I think we both did pretty good in our wheel spins. Surprisingly. <laughs> Let's go ahead and head on out of here. I'm looking for Disney slash Pixar, but I think I am gonna aim more in that Disney aspect and outside of Toy Story because we did make stuff so focused on Toy Story in the previous one. If I find something amazing Toy Story, of course we'll get that, but I think I'm gonna kind of lean towards the other Pixar properties along this journey. So let's put the wheel away and let's head into the car. He's, he's dangling for you. Ocean man, ocean man, take me by the little hand. <laughs> so our good luck ritual is in effect. Let's go check out the store. Okay guys, you can see all this stuff loaded up. Looks outside. like a lot of shoes. <laughs> all this random stuff that they gotta go through. We are at the thrift store. So we are at the one in Arcadia. This is my store. So I'm going in there looking for anything Disney, Pixar, and everything else we normally hunt for and to see who here has the better haul. I'm excited to check it out. Let's go ahead and get on inside. We forgot our old trusty new New Nickelodeon bag. No, we could have put this whole damn store in there. <laughs> next time we will remember. So we forgot the Nick bag, but next time we'll have that so we can put everything in here. It's pretty crowded in here, but this is a big store. That's the thing I love about coming into like the Sabres is look at how huge this place is. That's so, pretty massive. We're gonna head to the toy section first and then we'll go from there and look around everywhere else. 
right, so we are in here. It's really bare bones. There's not a lot on the shelves. I mean, we have this Mickey little sock in here. That's not really necessary. I mean, they ha Disney is so ex expansive. that it has gotta be stuff that's like, cool though. You know, something that I would actually want to pick up or collect. Yeah. Oh, but here we go. We of course, <laughs> Toy Story. <laughs> a little Toy Story tin. It does have a nice little dent there, but I mean, that's not too bad. I'm just oh, five bucks. Come on, man, with a big dent like that. I'm good on that guy. Darn. Yeah, we'll keep looking around now. I'm sure there's something here. like weird shipping crate which is kind of interesting i don't know what's even kind of gives me like vibes of tmnt in a way like it could be something cool you know yeah it is kind of sick though you can it's just like a playhouse kind of but it's like almost like a barbie dream house but just dope <laughs> <laughs> and they have elsa's little castle here too i mean there's a lot of freaking frozen stuff but i guess over there too yeah oh wait dude missing probably all the pieces we have the sonic air hockey table remember we saw this actually at ross <laughs> that's the exact one yeah <laughs> yeah it's missing all the pieces did we literally say we we would see it without anything, yeah. We would see it without all the pieces. So this is our first, we already are there. We're already seeing it places with missing pieces. Okay, so they have the Zerg right here. He's missing, missing an arm. arm. But I did see this guy right here. The Buzz Lightyear with oh, the- I'm sorry, there's a freaking Eggman in the back. <laughs> Part of an Eggman. The toys are really rough today. I, I hope that your store fair is better than the toys. Yeah, because like if you look at some of these, they're pretty uh, beat up, we unfortunately. We still have plushies in the bag though. And then we also got DVDs. We have a few sections of hoping that can like win out. But we did find this Buzz Lightyear puzzle, which the box on this is pretty cool. You get to see two puzzles inside of one from Ross. is only three dollars and they're asking more than three dollars <laughs> of course <laughs> but we were on slim pickings here so that's a win for me look grogu i mean he's technically disney <laughs> <laughs> that is true oh and that little bambi is actually is that bambi that's really cute okay i'll take that mitchell you just gave me a little fine there you're welcome we got the christmas grogu and also we have a little adorable it's like a freaking lettuce wrapped bandy <laughs> i like it okay we'll take that one we have like this rainbow right here. I'm gonna have to dig deep here today. So we have Peter Rabbit as like a Squishmallow. We have the old school poo. How much is the Tigger down here? Yeah, the Tigger is pretty cute. And this is vintage too from Disney. This has gotta be like the That looks cheaper than Pooh, what the heck? Yeah, and he's way cuter too. And look at his tail. Oh, let's see how cool, <laughs> the spring tail. Okay, we're grabbing Tigger for sure, so come on. Tigger is the one. Tigger, they got another one. Tigger is freaking saving us today, dude. Look at how adorable this is. <laughs> Eight dollars. What are these prices today? It's a vintage one cheaper than this one. That one's way freaking cuter, too. This is the vintage one. It's still got the original tag on it as well from the Disney store. Not a bad Mickey. We're going with Tigger. We're going to be going Tigger crazy today. And then you have the bell, too. Oh, that's a that's lot cute. of plushes. Yeah, the bell is actually really cute, too. I don't know. Okay, bell or should I get poo? I'm thinking the bell because she's the really bell's a little better. And the dress this is obviously he, this is when she actually dances with the beast for the first time. So I'm gonna go with the bell. And it's, really I think it's a little cleaner too. Yeah, exactly. And him, I do like him, but I think there's like some kind of function in there that may not work. I don't even know how it would work if it does. Or I think you can actually just pose him to be standing. So you can make him standing oh, that's cool. or sitting. Oh, the plushies are getting us today. Okay, we're gonna grab poo too. We are in the bags. You guys know how this works. It'll be a little surprise what we actually <laughs> oh my find gosh. for you guys. But yeah, there's I just saw some it. more Winnie the Pooh. Those are adorable. The gate. This one's pretty good too here. You got a Beyblade in there. You got two Rubik's Cubes, a little Thank cash you. register. <laughs> looking through these and we will give you guys an update once we actually go through them. Throw it all in here and we'll go through the bags together. So we had to switch cameras for right now, guys, because the battery died. But man, their price is like, Kenny do you not said. realize this stuff is used? Nine dollars. It is really cute, this Hello Kitty like teapot here. And it has the little spout board and everything. It's adorable, but I'm just, I just can't, just can't bring myself really to pay freaking eight dollars for it. Like some of this is ridiculously expensive. Yeah, and then you have this Scooby here, but freaking eight bucks again for just this one little used Scooby-Doo plushie. And then this tied Beanie Baby that nobody's asking for or wants. So it's like you're basically just getting the Scooby and it's like you have to pay $8 for a used Scooby. You know, which would be like, oh, okay, like fine if you're at like a antique market or something like yeah. that. But this is a thrift store. Also, it's donated. It's just a little, a little frustrating. That's how I feel. 
we're gonna stay optimistic and keep looking around here. We did get some bags that were, you know, within a reasonable range that were not worth it. We got this one right here that has a Wally in there. I think it's gonna be savable. It has an Eva, but she's pretty, you know, dingy. We'll see though. It has a Minion in there and a couple other pieces, but I think just the Wally might be worth it. Found this one that has this really cool Peanuts Home Depot car inside of it, along with a magnet set. Found this really cool Disney Cruise dice, which I think is really cool. And it looks like it opens up or something too. So I'm interested to see what it is. Like maybe some kind of puzzle or a dice. And then of course we still have the DVDs and stuff to check out. What a throwback. <laughs> we have a zoo bug, zoo bugs from Miss Avila's class. Wow. I've actually never looked inside of a zoo bug. I've only seen the commercials, but not on the whole collection. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for only 1999. Or you can come to the Savers in 2023 and just get one for $1.29. I'm not gonna get this one because it's pretty ringed up, but I've never seen it here. This is the Bob Esponja, uh, Spanish version of the uh, Soccer Stars book. And you got the reading book here. Yep, yep, yep. I think we actually do have that one. All right, guys, so I'm actually glad you guys some shots of the different shelves and stuff. We've got a couple. Look how many copies of Knocked Up there is. There's like freaking five copies. There's three yellow copies and then like a white one. I don't know if the white one's different, but there's so many. Okay, this is the unrated, unprotected copy, and this is the just common copy. There's so many of them of that movie, though. But anyway, guys, we're still looking through this, trying to see what we can find, but we did find some pretty cool ones. I'll show you guys that in a second here. I'm just still looking as I'm saying this. Look, 3 a.m. Always arriving, George Lopez here. But we did find Naruto the movie, Inheritors of the Wheel of Fire. I think that's a really cool disc, and the cover has some really amazing artwork on it. It's the Japanese version too, so I don't know. I just think it's definitely worth checking out. So I put that in the cart for now. We also got the Looney Tunes back in action with Brendan Fraser here, and it's a pretty clean box for only a dollar. 50 and this is the vhs of course so i definitely have to make sure to check the vhs itself okay yeah <laughs> pretty clean copy so i'll have that in the collection and i love that film and then i'm only <laughs> looking for movies that have like slip covers because disney movies i'm like most of them i'm not really trying to collect all of them i can get like you know madagascar and all these other ones yeah, and your disney, toy story and stuff. yeah disney has so many dvds that it's like you, they're just kind of like throwaway at some point because they produce so many and they're mass produced so i'm only looking for like the ones that have slip covers and stuff so this is the jonas brothers concert experience extended movie i just think that's really cool it's a disney rewards uh, title <laughs> so i got this one right here really clean check the disc and everything and then we also got the incredibles collector's edition really good box no like major damage on it and of course that comes with the two discs because like again the collector's edition and this one was super cool to find 2007 yes the 2007 tmnt movie it's actually mitchell's topic but i had to pick this up it's got the slip cover there is some like gunk on here but i think we can get this off just the fact that this movie is one of the biggest tmnt moments of my childhood i love this film and it's the slip cover diversion of it so i had to get that one look even says it's so new hit cgi movies yeah <laughs> and then when i got really hyped i was like oh we have one of these this is so rare to find to square pants or not to square pants they want to got three dollars for this you know very very unfair price but then if you open it up you're really unfair you're just paying for a box <laughs> so we put that one back. It's not a snuggie, but it's a snug of me penguin. That just eat... seems such a weird sentence. <laughs> snug of me. <laughs> you can get the penguin one. What the you could... heck is that? I was going to say, you could rock out in your snug of me and then, you know, carry around your Michelle Obama bag. <laughs> <laughs> the drip. This one is really cool. A little lenticular space jam. Yeah, it's very interesting. It's a little bit beat up, but it is cool nonetheless. I, this is my choice. My decision attitude for today. Is everything. Pick a good one. <laughs> Every, attitude is everything. Exactly. This Pick is, a good one today. It's got ominous right now with the music playing. Pick a good one. Pick a good one. Or else. Okay, so this is a pretty cool find. This oh, is Luna. A, yeah, Luna from Sailor Moon. It's a trick or treat bag, I'm pretty sure. That is really freaking cute. And I think the only, oh, well, seven dollars. Yikes. <laughs> it is kind of a yikes. But I don't necessarily know if this is something we should leave behind. It's pretty damn cool. But damn, the price is a little high, but it's okay. I think we're going to get this one either way. Okay. I just we, had to put that out. The adorable Mike right here is so freaking cute. Mike. <laughs> yeah, he's only five dollars i think we're gonna get him even with the drop something else i think we're gonna get him his eyes little, dirty little oxy clean. yeah but i'm sure i can clean that guy out and we could save him he is too adorable to leave behind and that's definitely pixar so i'm glad we made another circle oh wait and they actually have a my too oh, okay <laughs> we're doing pretty good here all of a sudden it's just plushies yeah plushies but they have a my also too this is 
Pixar themed. I would not have expected to even get this. So I love I red we, raccoons. They're so adorable. Yeah, I think we might drop some other stuff just so we can get these two. This is perfect for our uh, Pixar category. They brought up the biggest, smoothest legged yeah. Hulk ever <laughs> for ten dollars. Oh, this little this little Tigger uh, bubble blower is kind of cute too. Okay, another little last minute find. We found the Disney the water game for Ducktales. So we have this one with Donald Duck right here. Water game. It's got a little boat right here as well too. It needs water still, but I mean, it looks like it's in pretty good shape. So twenty dollars at the store. They want five dollars here, five ninety nine. You know, there are some deals if you look around really deep. So I think we might grab this guy. Oh, then they got they got a little Arthur over here. That's that's super old Arthur. That's no, like, Arthur. <laughs> that's like King Arthur. That was the original Arthur. <laughs> that's so yeah. old. <laughs> Okay, on that note, we went around the whole store twice. I think we did pretty good. I think I got lucky. As always, I got kind of saved at the end. <laughs> we Something got random gets dropped in. The mic. We have also Panda Mai here. We got the DuckTales game here at the end. We found the Luna here at the end. It was all kind of just came together at the final there. So this is it for my haul. Ugh, I, I think I did pretty good. These guys kind of saved me at the end here. So I think they got some pretty solid stuff. I don't know if it's going to beat Mitchell's store, but we're going to find out. Head on out of here, head over to Mitchell's store and check out and see if we can uh, find some TMNT stuff. All right, so Mrs. decided if we go over here to Old Reliable, the closest store that we go to the most often. Well, we actually haven't been here in a long time. A couple of like, months. months. Yeah. yeah, so who knows? This is Old Reliable for a reason. They usually always have some decent stuff. Let's knock on wood and hope that today is not some kind of a weekday, you know, but usually it's pretty good. So I'm hopeful for you. He's looking for TMNT, anything TMNT we can find to add to the collection. That's going to get some extra points, but let's see what they just got in general. You want to do a little ocean man? Ocean man, ocean yeah. man. Mitchell's taking you by the... Oh, you missed my hand. <laughs> it's hard when it's spinning so fast. And that's the toughest part about it. But the more an instant you get it, the better your luck is. <laughs> yeah, let me just... Oh, boo! <laughs> Look at that. that was the first try. I'm an ocean man expert. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm an expert in ocean man. Damn. Look at that. Okay, so we just came in here, guys. And Mitchell found vintage. this vintage Pokemon bed sheet. Are you joking me, dude? This is so freaking cool. Got the little frills on there. But, I mean, heck, man, that's still amazing. How much is it asking for? Uh, ten dollars. Ten bucks, yeah. I say we just get one then. That's there is sick. two, but that is amazing though for ten dollars. That's a good grab. All right, so we already got one item. That's not TMNT, but that's like, come on, that's hard to. It's leave. hard to find vintage Pokemon stuff Absolutely. here. Absolutely. Oh come on, man! Why didn't I pick this store? Look at this. This looks like something weird, like the SpongeBob Tiki thing you gotta collect. This is what always happens. Whichever store one of us picks, the other ones are finding all the stuff for that person. Like you got the TMNT like stuff. But that's what makes the competition fun, is because we've been to all these places. So based off our experience, what do we think is gonna be the best choice? <laughs> I really thought that that Arcadia one had the most like Disney stuff when we went there. Yeah. But it ended up having a good amount of stuff. But this one seems like it has so much already. We have the Snow Queen book bag here or whatever. It looks like a little suitcase. Whoa. There we go with a bunch of like different you know costumes in there really cool and cute but i don't necessarily need this one but it is disney look at that dude right it. there oh my are you kidding me come oh, on yeah. got the lightning mcqueen freaking mac, mac truck. truck that is awesome oh and I mean, you can put lightning back there yeah it looks like he's missing the lightning i mean you, this isn't tmnt but i probably would have grabbed that at my store <laughs> someone really just didn't want their fortnite collection <laughs> they're like fortnite i'm done with that <laughs> they're into something new now Who's this guy? What the? <laughs> <laughs> Besides him, we have the sunshine bear here. But I think this one is one we have to get. That is so cute. Him in the little cat costume is like the most adorable thing ever. He's got his little paws have prints on them too. That is definitely a keeper. We're grabbing him, and he's only three forty nine. That's a this good is price. More reasonable. SpongeBob operation here. But the question is, does it have its pieces? That's the biggest issue with these. The board, amazing as always. It literally has nothing besides the board. <laughs> yeah, so that's a leave. Wait a minute. <laughs> Attempt number two. Oh, Attempt no. Attempt number two in the making. <laughs> 
There's no shot. There's anything in that one either. There's money. <laughs> There's the money, but none of the pieces, unless they're in the drawer. There should be, if I remember correctly, there should be 12 pieces. Let's see, it's four, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Yeah. We are in luck. And I actually have another one of these operation games that's incomplete. Oh, okay, okay. It's missing all the pieces, but it has all the cards and the money. So boom, put those two together. We have another complete operation SpongeBob. That's cool. All right, so you got a, you had two attempts there, but you made it happen on that one. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, secondary one. <laughs> yeah. There's like this kind of like interesting Scooby-Doo set. Oh, that is sick. Puzzles Again, are so hard. It's the question if everything's in there. Oh, look at this, turtles. Oops. It's not the turtles, look at this. Oh. We have the Monopoly Pokemon. Kanto edition. Kanto edition. Has, there's six metal figures, it only shows you three. There's Pikachu, Char Eevee. Eevee, and Charmander. I don't know, what do you think the other three are gonna be? Bulbasaur and Squirtle, obviously. Who's that last one? Huh? Dang. Right? That's the curious question. Oh, do you remember this movie? Area oh, 51 with yeah. Dwayne The Rock Johnson. <laughs> you have to always say his full name. Dwayne The Rock Johnson. You can't say Dwayne Johnson. <laughs> you have to say his full name. All right, so we're grabbing the Operation SpongeBob. Let's check out the Monopoly here. They have My Little's Pet Shop uh, Monopoly as well, too. Money's on the there. Money's there. The board looks solid. <gasps> no! It's a T-Rex, but there's still all six of them. He's just the bonus. Oh, they got Jigglypuff. Fuck okay, that makes sense. Yes. Yeah, so, oh, it is Jigglypuff. You're right. So you have Squirtle in there. You got Jigglypuff. You got Charmander. Dude, these are sick on their own. Oh, look at the red card. That is dope. Oh man, these are cool. I mean, I don't know if every card is in here, but I think it's still worth just I mean, grabbing. Even just these right here are sick. Yeah, even the little like little Hotels, pallet, yeah. Yeah, little pallet town houses are pretty cool. It's literally like little pallet town houses. That is worth grabbing. Okay, we'll take it. Oh, look, there's it's already of, one done. Yeah, there's a lot of mini puzzles. So there's mini puzzles. There's, they could all be in there. There's it's three puzzles each. Three forty nine. We'll grab it. I think you're already doing better, but you haven't found one TMNT thing. <laughs> Hopefully the DVDs. And... Like you've found this guy. Yeah. You're gonna have to find some turtles. If you can find some turtle stuff, you might actually win this. Oh, but if you don't find any turtles, you just would have to survive. On just one lines. turtle thing, please. Gotta find a turtle. That's a or you're gonna be walking. Whoa, the whoa. Yeah. T Rex or alligator? <laughs> He's just looking for anything that's green. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here's a turtle for you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was looking for. Oh, here's the new edition of Bullseye Ball. Dude, that balloon dog was like it tripped me out for a sec. <laughs> I'm like, I inflated this balloon dog and loved it here. <laughs> it's one of those traveling glasses. <laughs> All right, so you could get locked out in the bag here. So let's go ahead. We'll go through them. We'll oh my gosh, Ben 10. Yeah, what is that? I think I remember that beast is even called, to be honest. Hey, I <laughs> found me a little Mikey. Oh, you're right. Okay. Oh, and what's his name from uh from uh, Flushed Away? Yeah. Ah, uh, he's missing. He's probably had a broken nunchuck. Oh. Though. So I don't think we can grab him. Still a Mikey. It's still a Mikey, but he's got to be a working Mikey, a, a, a usable, collectible Mikey. Legitimately, when we were doing this, I was looking for car stuff, and then we come to this store. There's so many freaking cars. Like you even have Buzz and Woody cars here. Queen, Queen there. Mater. Mater here. That was what I was hoping on. There's like see, this there's whole another, bag of them. There's another meter over here too. There's like light. There's car stuff everywhere at this store. But when I went mine, there was that one car is big. You know, I was cars? banking on cars to actually kind of get a lot of Pixar stuff, and there was none at my location. I'll even have freaking Arlo here from the little dinosaur. This is like so many Pixar things at this one. Why is it that uh, I got the? Uh, I mean, we uh, should have switched stories because there was turtle stuff oh, in mine. Sick. How is there two of these? How is there two of these unlicensed purple <laughs> unicorns? This, On both stores. In both locations had the same unicorn. That's so weird. Look, even they even have, with the tag still, they have the Timon from Toy Story, the Build-A-Bear Workshop oh, Timon. Oh, I just found something sick. What is it? Oh, damn, dude. Nice. You found Ice Bear in a dress. He's a cook. Oh, he's apron. Okay, <laughs> there's a dress. <laughs> Only two forty nine, too. Okay, yeah, that's a big find right there. Oh, I got me a turtle finally. Yeah, your only uh, turtle right. find. <laughs> I also found uh, what's her name from Flintstones. Oh, nice, dude. Yeah, that's a grab for sure. All right, Mitchell, I gotta say, you're kind of killing it. Like, you got more stuff than I did in some way. You got freaking two killer plushies. Three, if you count the pebbles, too. Like, that's pretty damn good as far as animation goes. You got the sponge sealed. You got two freaking board games. These are the Toy Story, like, buildables where you can actually make the uh, the whole, like, the RV. Whole, like, RV, yeah. Yeah, from number four. And I'm trying to see if, I like, all the pieces are there. We might leave all the bags, but if all the pieces are there, I might just get the bags that are necessary to complete it. Because I 
I really want that RV from Toy Story 4 complete. That'd be sick, yeah. And then you got the freaking vintage Pokemon bed sheet. Like, you know, it's not bad at all. You just need some turtles. So we're going to head over to the DVDs and VHS, and maybe that's where Mitchell will get your video. There's one thing, right? Maybe that's where you'll get your luck at. So let's go check it out. Talk about your store. Look at this. There's one here. Another one up here, another one here. <laughs> <laughs> That's Knock. a very commonly donated movie, it seems like. Okay, but we did find Pest of the West, so we could finally check this one off, and that'll be only, what was it, six we had? We had six missing, so now we're down to five. Now we're down to five SpongeBob releases that I do not have in the collection. And then we also found this Hey Arnold Rewind Season 2 four disc set. So it's just season four, but I mean, it's, I don't know. We'll check the disc out on it. It's kind of pricey though for what it is, especially since we already have the complete collection. What? Kangaroo Jack, yes. can't forget that. <laughs> you know, two Pests of the West. So I knew Pests of the West wouldn't be on our list for too long before we check it off. Okay, so we came to the VHSs. We didn't see Harvey. really much though that was like worth grabbing. They have Little Drummer Boy, which is part of my childhood for sure. And they have the Winnie the Pooh VHS, but it's not sealed. It looks like it is, but it's not. They have all these Japanese like animation VHSs though, which is cool. You, you rarely ever see like any kind of VHSs that are animated besides Dragon Ball. They have the Wiggle Safari. <laughs> There's some cool stuff, but this is not necessarily anything we need. It might be, it might be out of luck as far as turtles go. We're there's only one, but it wasn't even like, couldn't even keep it or take it. You still have the whole left side of the store. Maybe you'll find like a turtle's tin or like, you know, oh, yeah, be like nice. a tumbler, you know. <laughs> I could probably find a turtle's shirt, maybe. <laughs> and we'll run back to the toy section one more time to see if they restocked anything like we did with my store. But let's just go see on that side of the store if there's anything that pops up. I found some stuff. Okay, so you're looking for turtles, right? Yeah. Found this. Whoa. It's not related to turtles at all, but That's so sick. I had to grab it. <laughs> the SpongeBob mug. The and yellow era looks if like. If your name was Jennifer. <gasps> That's sick. I know. Where are you? Jennifer. I know, it's so cool. If it wasn't for the Jennifer, that would be well, like- You can still could just keep it. <laughs> I know, I'm not, I'm not going to get this. <laughs> My name's not Jennifer. I don't know anybody who's named Jennifer. Where did they get this mug? Because I need it. I know, it's so cool. That would have been like the coolest find ever had it not had that big Jennifer on it. Oh, if anyone's named Jennifer, there it is. There it is, that's like your dream find right there. They brought this brand new card out. I mean, unless you're looking for some water, there's really not much in there for you. <laughs> It's so funny doing this series because we always see so much TMNT stuff. Whenever we stuff. don't need it or like are just like walking by it. <laughs> I don't know, man. You got some good stuff. I got some it, sponge to make up for it. it. I could have won this competition, perhaps. We'll see, though. They have to decide that. They decide, but I'm just saying, if we're talking about category, you didn't even find one item. I did, but it's just not in good condition. <laughs> you, have to, you, got, you have to at least be able to compete and find one item as TMNT. I'm besides sure I find the broken one. one. Besides the broken one. You can keep saying that, but it was broken, okay? I think this qualifies as a good piece. A little Leo with a helicopter. Oh my god, the most desperate thing. This grummy little freaking... Hey, hey, hey. You know what? You said stuff about it. Got little kid cheese and this little spot I don't care here. what's on there right now. <laughs> this one's not broken. <laughs> Okay, so we made it out of the thrift. I mean, it wasn't perfect, but I mean, we did better than I expected. Yeah, I mean. You got a lot of good stuff. It was just not turtles. Like, I think you probably. <laughs> this is the same situation. <laughs> One Scooby thing, a bunch of everything else. You, you know what I think about it? You landed on the same marker because I took out Scooby and then put TMNT. You got the same spot on the wheel to get this again. <laughs> <laughs> you rigged me. <laughs> so you guys let us know who wins but i understand that you know nobody wants to see mitchell lose okay maybe just me a little <laughs> <laughs> obviously me and mitchell like to have fun fun little competitions here but it is based off of what category you land on but he did get some really good stuff too so i don't think he's out for the count we're gonna go ahead and head back to the cavern you guys let us know who you think won it he did get one tmnt item as dingy <laughs> as it may have been to count on there i mean i got disney which is a very broad category but usually tmnt we see a lot of stuff. <laughs> Literally in the last verses, I got TMNT stuff. That's yeah, at my store, I saw at least five, six items. You just got the bad luck of the draw. So, you know, that's about the about the experience of doing this. We know all these stores and trying our best to guess like, oh, on average, I see a lot of TMNT stuff at this store, but today would have been the wrong vote for that, the wrong yeah. guess for that. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and get into it. TV is, it's already been off, but the remote here, so it just looks more, boom. 
Now it is on. And it is playing copy right even. And as it's like SpongeBob's last stand, this is my last stand. That's what <laughs> I'm on, man. I was on my last leg there. I really think like we're gonna go through everything, but I feel like you might have gotten better overall stuff. Just I nailed my category, you know? You have to admit, some of the stuff I found at the end of my hunt was like, you don't get more Disney and Pixar than that. And excluding Toy Story stuff on top of it. I mean it was like the same boat as last time where I had Scooby Doo got one Scooby Doo thing, that's it. <laughs> that's so it's just like, it's fortunate circumstances of finding nothing of it. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, you can also just say like, oh, Marcus won because of the category, but Mitchell had better finds, or vice versa, whatever you want to say. But you guys decide, let's get into my bags here. So let's check it out and see what we got here in our first bag. So starting off, I don't know what the hell this is. <laughs> it's like a freaking crab car. Oh, it's a scorpion. It's some kind of scorpion uh, car of some, I kind of want to build it now though. So it looks like the legs come out this way. Legs in, claws back. Oh yeah. That's actually kind of sick. Like why is that kind of like the hardest thing ever? Push, <laughs> assuming you push the button. <laughs> oh! oh! That's actually kind of bad. But that wasn't even why I grabbed this to be honest. I grabbed this because it had this Wally in here. Ooh. And this actually comes from a Wally playset. And yeah, I, I was hoping he was in pretty good shape. He just makes for a really good profile of Wally. So you got Wally right there. His neck is articulate and also his arms are articulated. After a little bit of cleaning, he's gonna look perfect. And he also rolls too. So there we go, we have Wally. He yeah. is in working order. And you know, you can pick up those little bricks now for well the rest of his life. Yeah. <laughs> And you also have the Eva here. I think her arms may come out. Yeah, they come out for sure. Yeah, so the arms do come out here. She is not very clean though, but if she can be cleaned, you know, thoroughly, maybe, maybe she could still be like display worthy. You know, her arms, her head's articulate too. Let's go ahead and take some uh, alcohol to her real quick here. Okay, so now we have Wally and Eva. So I think that's perfect right there. That's a nice little duo looking for Pixar. Yeah. Looking for Pixar and, and Disney, I think that's a pretty clutch find for my uh, set that I was looking for. All right, so I'm gonna put that as worth it. Oh yeah, all day. Worth it for sure. I'm not even done with that bag. So not only that, we got this freaking, nobody mentioned this was in Wally. It has sound? Are you kidding me? Let's move out. Boom! Okay, so that was my first bag. Disney, Pixar, you know, kind of doing pretty good here. Next up, this bag, not really much in here that I need. There's this thing, oh, this. Wow. Really like jarringly loud. Yeah. It's like you think it's kind of loud, but you're like, wow, that's actually shaking some stuff in here. That is crazy loud. I feel like I need ear surgery. Like that was like so intense. There's some kind of Chinese drum roll. And then you have this thing, which it's like, it makes the sounds of like, okay, do you want to sound the sound of a bee or a, a duck? <laughs> I don't really know what this is. In some kind of other language yet again. <laughs> it's dead though, so we're not counting that. I got it for this. So this is a Disney Cruise Line cube of some kind. It's a puzzle. Oh, it's one of those infinity cubes. Yeah, so set your course for adventure. So on this side, you have all the Disney characters, the cruise line since 1998. A really cool little display cube with a cool in the bathroom or just as a little display. You can open it up like this too and you know, have that little like dynamic right there or you can just flip it all the way around. And then boom, you've got this like crazy like um, Dungeons and Dragon dice. So I don't know. I I thought it was worth it for three bucks. I mean, I don't know, maybe not worth the three dollars. Let's see, we can Google it and see real quick. Okay, so after doing some research, I mean, it, it can go for about $10, but I mean, I don't know. I'm gonna say, I would say on an average day, not worth it, but since I'm looking for Disney today. Maybe a draw? A draw, I'll yeah. say a draw for the Disney on board, the cube of infinity. So that was my only two bags right there. Everything else now is just pure items, so let's go through it. So next up here, we had, a, let's look at the DVDs. We had a couple DVDs. Oh, actually, no, I have one more bag. I forgot about this one. So we have the magnetic set here for Home Depot. They have the Home Depot car in there, which is the race car number 12. 20. Then this one is a Peanuts one, which I think is really cool because Peanuts are almost more famous for their holiday like specials and their like kind of their tradition of watching the Peanuts Christmas, Halloween specials. So I just wanted to grab this one because every year as a kid we would watch the Peanuts special for Thanksgiving.
Thanksgiving, Christmas, and Halloween. But I thought that was just really cool. Comes with two cars on it. Also sponsored by Philips, which is most of the batteries we use in this room because it's some at Dollar Tree. And just overall solid. It's got the little Boo Snoopy right there. The Boo is just really cute. So this guy goes for about $11 sold. And this guy right here, I didn't even look up. But I mean, I'm just going to add him as a bonus. So I'd say worth it. Again, it's almost like they're freaking Nickelodeon, though. They just blend in so well. <laughs> yeah, it's a really good orange. But you know, we only represent in this room my boy Jimmy Johns. I mean, Jimmy Johnson. Jimmy Johnson. Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy Johns is like a great restaurant, too, though. But Jimmy Johnson. Yes, number 48, baby. Okay, so then not just that. We have Looney Tunes back in action on VHS. I have this movie on DVD, but I've really just kind of come into just really loving v VHS as my premium way of watching. Watching uh, older films. I just recently watched Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory on VHS and it just hit homes like it was already a nostalgic movie But I feel like it just there's it, something classic about it that. dug into my my childhood soul and like getting to watch that movie on VHS And just something about hearing the noise of the VHS player mm -hmm. not being able to rewind pause or fast forward as easily as you can on Streaming just makes you enjoy the film that much more. So I love Looney Tunes back in action This was the first time we got to see Looney Tunes kind of come into live in action again since Space Jam and I love Space Jam growing up so when this movie got released I saw all the trailers for it it was an instant have to watch okay now this one right here this was an instant pickup too so this is not when the turtles were a part of Nickelodeon this is when they were a Warner Brothers you know movie so you have the slip cover there and you also have the actual DVD open this guy up it even has the advertisements for the TMNT 2007 series video game which I've talked about on this show before was like I loved that game so much in the DS this movie in itself is like so freaking nostalgic April O'Neil looks like she could be like related to like Jack Skellington or like some Chris kind of like Slenderman. <laughs> like some kind of Tim Burton project April O'Neil in that movie is classic too but you just get to see so many cool aspects of this film and I could say probably one of the best Mikey skateboardings of all time of all eras so this disc is like unwatched at all. This was like bare minimum days. I hate that it's backwards. It's not backwards. This is like one of those the back oh, in the, what This the was heck? an era where like they didn't even print a like a name on there. They just had like the disc was just like this for some reason. Huh. But I believe it's because you might be able to flip the disc actually on some of the cases oh, that's of these. Cool. Yeah, it's like a double sided reverse side stand. Yeah, reverse side stander and then you flip it over for the uh widescreen. All right, but then not just that. I do typically go for the, you know, the Blu-rays when it comes to a lot of the Pixar films because they are very accessible. But if you guys don't know, Walmart is actually very soon going to be discontinuing having physical media. Well, as Best Buy, so that would really only leave Target. You I mean, they just kind of copy what Walmart does, but just cleaner and yeah. a little bit more expensive. So I'm pretty sure it's going to be the same thing at Target. So, I mean, get physical media while you can. I mean, people think I'm crazy for saying that. They call me a psycho. They call me deranged. But they'll see. <laughs> they'll all see what I have on the DVDs. And there's nowhere else to watch it besides behind a paywall of $11.99 to $14.99 to $17.99 a month. But like I said, we have The Incredibles here. This is the two-disc collector set, which comes with the movie in widescreen, regular screen, viewing presentations. And it also has filmmaker audio commentary, Jack Jack Attacks, Academy Award, winning short bound in incredible blunder which is bloopers and outtakes cutscenes top secret files behind the scenes and making of the incredibles and much more and French and Spanish so you only get that with this <laughs> so that's why I picked this one up I love the Incredibles and it's Pixar you know what I mean we're talking about my category was Disney and Pixar and look where when this stuff is not that but look where we're at three doing pretty four, four. yeah I don't want to count that four doing pretty damn spiffy but I ain't done there yet Mitchell oh I know Next up here we have from, I think it's from DuckTales, but it only has Donald Duck on it. It's not really sealed. It just comes with the box, but you can take it out here and you can clearly see somebody had water in there at one point. But yes, you can see you have, we, we remembered this, we rehearsed this. Okay, so Huey 
and Louie, right? We're like, it's Dewey. Dewey is not here. Wa he's the water. He's Dewey. <laughs> <laughs> this is Dewey right here on the outside. <laughs> oh, he's on the inside, I think. <laughs> yeah, there is. There's uh, Dewey over there, and then there's a sister. So, um, uh, but we know this. Louie for Luigi Green, Louie. Huey for Red Huey. Yeah. And then Dewey for looks... Blue Like Water Dew. Yeah. So I know that is them. And then on the inside there, you can see it's a ring game. So let's fill this guy up with some water and uh, check it out here. Oh, it's got a leak in it. Well, that's a L. That's already a not worth it. Let's get some little gameplay in here though, real quick. Ba 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 ba. Can I get some hoops? Come on, give me one ring in the hoop. Let's go. Let's go. Come let's on, go. Come on, come on. One, one, one. One, one. <laughs> one ring. Can I get one? Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's put this away before it makes us. <laughs> that was not worth it. Okay. Next up, we have the Sailor Moon bag here. Um, Luna right here and you guys know Sailor Moon is very very popular and this kind of aesthetic as a whole is like it's kind of popular So it's like finding anything like this is pretty uncommon the back of the bag is pretty plain I'm pretty sure this is for trick-or-treating, but I mean if you have like a like, you know a, a Sailor Moon costume That would be cool to have on the side. This yeah. is perfect. So I paid six dollars for it though I don't know if that was necessarily worth it, but you don't see stuff like this every day So I decided to grab it. Okay, so we found the same bag for Artemis who's also also from Sailor Moon and that one goes for 30 so I'm gonna say for six dollars worth it worth I mean it, yeah. at least probably worth like 20 and I think it's really really cute nonetheless and I just didn't want to leave it behind I love the ears on it you know how much we love cats on this show so got this one worth it and you guys know I love grabbing stuff it's like a huge variety because we have so many different people that watch comfort cartoons so you will see me grab some Hello Kitty stuff or anything that I think is just really really cute or has the kawaii vibe if I think it's worth it just so we can check it out in, in closer detail with you you guys all right next up here I think it's definitely worth it and I can't wait to watch this guy we have Mike <laughs> I wonder if it's like from when he was like the kid, you know? Yeah, I mean, I don't think, yeah, it could be like a flashback Monsters University one, or it's just adorable. So we have Mike Wazowski right here. He's in really good shape, and it says Disney Parks. So I don't know if it's a Disney Park exclusive, but it is from Disney Parks. And you'll see it does have a little bit of dirt right here in his eye, but I don't doubt that we could clean that right up. So Mike has been sold, no longer available. The same Mike for 50 bucks. So wow. Definitely worth it. $50 bill from a $5 bill. That's 10 times more, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I will say worth it all day, but honestly, he is so cute. He might just be going on the shelf with the Pixar stuff. He is adorable. So that is big worth it on screen for Mike Wazowski. So next up here, I wanted to go full-blown classic here. So we have Belle, and Beauty and the Beast is one of my favorite movies of all time. Um, not a good, like, if you're really looking at it, not the best example for, I feel like, um, oh, I mean, I can't speak for all of them, obviously not being one, but women growing up, I mean, she basically gets held hostage by a man until she eventually has to fall in love with him. <laughs> <laughs> So it's basically like she suffers like some form of Stockholm syndrome. Yeah. I mean, and then it's like the only people in there that to give her advice is like all the the items, you know, like Lumiere, uh, the chest, you know, who has like all the clothes in it. But if you think about it, they kind of have a vested interest in her falling in love with a bee. So like, of course, she's, they're going to say like, oh, give him a chance. He's actually a sweet guy because if you don't fall in love with him, with him I'm going to be this candle forever. So can you kind of like, you know, just make it work? Honey. <laughs> so I feel kind of bad for Belle, but she is one of my favorite Disney princesses being that, you know, she loves reading. She's super knowledgeable. And I mean, she doesn't fall for Gaston's BS and decides to leave her, live her life her own way. So I got this one and she has the classic dress that she wears, like I said, dancing with the beast. So a really beautiful plushie here. And they sell for about 15 to 20 bucks. I, I gotta say, I think maybe, I think worth it, but barely. On an average day, not worth it. But since my hunt was Disney, I think that was a good one to grab. Okay, so next up we have one of Mitchell's favorite characters and one of mine growing up as well. Were you, I know you love Winnie the Pooh, but was who's your favorite character growing up? Was it our man here? Yeah, that or Eeyore. Yeah, my favorite was always Tigger. My mom always called me Eeyore. I think I told you guys that on the channel before because I was always whining about stuff in her mind. <laughs> <laughs> I think everybody's parents think they're whining about stuff. But my favorite was Tigger. And boom, we have him right here. The vintage Tigger. I love 
love the old school like fur on it. It's yeah. just super soft. Nowadays they do every plushie kind of like a squishmallow, you know? Like this one right here, yeah. Yeah, kind of like this smooth material. I mean, she's not even as soft as a squishmallow. I love when they're furry like this. Like to me, that's just way more cozy and way more comforting than just like a, a flat texture. So I love the old school plushies and they all kind of start off as white and then you can see they dye the areas that they want them to. So that black is not like, you know, one texture just like patched in there. It's all one smooth fur, which is just cute. And then not just that, they had the audacity to make this man even more adorable by giving him a little pig spring twirling tail, spring yeah. tail. And I mean, worth it or not, I, don't, I already consider this one worth it. Cause this is just so adorable and it just screams to my childhood. And I, I don't know about you, for me it was like, I had a Tickle Me Elmo, but that wasn't the big thing for me. It was the Hoppin' Tigger. Ooh, I, I don't know. I didn't have that one, unfortunately. I just had the Pooh Bear. Yeah, we had the, we saw the Hopping Tigger there at the flea market. But we didn't grab it because he had a lot of stains on his chest. But that Hopping Tigger, yeah. that, that was like the coolest thing on the earth in my mind as a kid. The more you bounce, the more the fun for Tigger, you and everyone. Let me know, were you guys Tickle Me Elmo or were you Hopping Tigger? I did have a Tickle Me Elmo too. But at one point, at some point, I just kind of wanted him to shut up. Yeah. <laughs> but Tigger, he could bounce all day. All right, next up, we have Panda. My and this obviously is new because the turning red film is very new and I mean this is a grail to me because this is adorable like oh come God, on it's, so it's ridiculously soft and like I said I love plushies that have like real fur to them they just make them so much more cozy in my opinion her ears are so freaking cute too and if you haven't seen turning red it is on Disney plus I'm pretty sure I don't know if it went to theaters but it's Disney plus it takes place in Canada too which is cool because you know a lot of movies take place in America, of course, Japan. I mean, you never know where you're gonna go, but not all the time do you get a little movie in Canada, so that's pretty cool. So I love it. I just think she's really sweet. The movie itself gives me so much anxiety because the character goes through so much anxiety as well, and I can relate to that personally. But at the same time, the conclusion of the movie and everything wrapping up, a very satisfying movie. It just kind of makes you feel like, you know, things are always gonna be all right. At the end of the day, you gotta get through things, and they will pan out for the best if you just give them time and be patient. As they say, life goes on. So I gotta say, this is definitely a W to me already, but she was not cheap. She was $9, kind of a lot, but I mean, this is a big plushie. So she goes for about 30 on average with some brief research here, and that's used too. I mean, she is a little bit dirty, but nothing that like one wash cycle on delicate won't get out. So, you know, I definitely think that was a worth it for me. And the fact that we found a new Pixar item, that's pretty good. <laughs> it is pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> so. You act like the table's not 90% Disney or Pixar. Yeah, I mean, come on, that was my category. But I think that when you saw me get Pixar, I think everybody was like, oh, it's easy. You can get Toy Story. Oh, you can get Frozen stuff. And I'm not gonna lie, I tried to get car stuff to kind of cheap it out and get car stuff because there's a lot of cars merchandise. The fact that I didn't find anything cars and found so much variety, I think is pretty dang solid. So here's my Disney haul right here. We got Panda Mai with Incredibles freaking on DVD, Collector's Edition. We got Wally and Eva. We got freaking Missing Some Aspects of Life. Tigger has all life, Tigger. <laughs> and we got Mike Wazowski, the most adorable one ever at a $50 value and this little cube thing. Not bad. And we had some bonus finds over here with all this little stuff as well too. Some awesome pieces to add to the collection. All right, so now we are going through Mitchell's stuff. Let's go ahead and check it all out. We're gonna clear the table here. You guys have seen my haul here. Keep that in mind. I'm turning this guy off, he won't stop. Very intense. And we will find out who has won this episode of Versus. Okay, so let's go ahead and go through Mitchell's stuff. Do you want me to start with your Scam NT item? I think we gotta start the bags anyway. There's a bunch of bags. You might as well just start with it. <laughs> Let's start with the bags. So I got these bags and I'm at Mitchell's store, but I have been wanting for a while now to complete the Toy Story. They had a lot of them. <laughs> yeah, the Toy Story like RV. And every time we get one, I, I lose the other ones. So I never get to complete this setup. But now if I have all of them at once, I can finally build it. And if we have all the pieces here, we may be doing a bonus video where I build the entire RV 
RV so we can kind of see what that full RV looks like. And I just kind of want to do it to add it to the Toy Story collection. And I just, I, I love toys like that ever since the Jimmy Neutron one back in the day. I've loved any meal toys where you can build them together to make one kind of premium toy because they're essentially free toys. And then you get to build into something that would probably cost you like 20, 30 bucks at the store. So it's a win all the way across. So we'll see if we have all those pieces. But let's start off with Mitchell's big find of the video. That is TMNT item. You rolled TMNT and we looked hard. I helped. I helped you look hard. There was like two <laughs> things in the entire store. <laughs> that is like the first time ever we have gone and not found just that little TMNT yeah. in general. At my store alone, there was like 10 items. So maybe what we could do in the future versus two is like, if we are at each other's stores, we can't look for other stuff. So like if you find, if I'm at my store and you find SpongeBob, like let's just say you roll TMNT for example, and you are with me, you can get TMNT stuff at my place, but you can't get Sponge or Disney or any bonuses. You can only get your specific item. I think that would be fair because then you both get two stores to hunt for our specified hunt. You yeah, I mean? and then like when I go to mine, then I get the sponge, but you don't. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So whatever your specified item is, you can look for those at both locations, the first one store and also so the second store, your main store, but at the main store, you can acquire bonuses, any additional items that you can add to the collection, but that person can only look for their main search. So I would have been looking for Disney at his store. Which... There, there was, was a lot. A lot. And I probably would have left some of the stuff that I got at my store because of the fact that I knew I had a second store coming up, you know? Yeah. So I think it's a better way to do it. We'll probably be doing that in the future. If you guys want me to do it like that, let me know and we'll try to make that happen. But anyway, your big TMNT find yeah. was this Leonardo. Oh my God, Mitchell. Hey, you know what? That I is covered in boo-boo browns. You should have just got the freaking Mikey. <laughs> that is hell. You can toss them now. <laughs> <laughs> we got him. <laughs> so we have Leonardo here. The button doesn't even work for this thing <laughs> to actually it go. Rust it out. That is not something we're going to be holding on to. It seems like it might have something that could then infect other things. So I'm going to go ahead and just toss put again. that to the side. I got a TMNT thing. <laughs> <laughs> Barely. Everything in here is covered in kid Dude. cheese stuff. We don't need oh! Dang, that Transformers has been through it all. He needs to transform into the garbage. Oh my gosh. What in the world, dude? These things look like they've been through freaking more than the Age of Extinction. They've been through the age of all wars ever. <laughs> they have like been through everything. That is... <laughs> what? I'm glad they take an L though on that bag for everything else that I got. That was the foulest bag of... It's just like, who, who had the work... <laughs> suffering. Who at the workstation was like, yeah, put that in a bag. That makes sense. Sell that thing. <laughs> like, what did you scoop it out of a, a sandbox? Like, where did they find that at? Okay, anyway, I have goosebumps of grossness. Okay, <laughs> that is foul. Let's go through this stuff. We'll save the toy store for last, okay? <laughs> so I've got these guys right here. I saw them on the shelf. This is going to Mitchell's total, though. It's old school candles. You've got the Superman one right here, which is just freaking sick. And I also will use these candles on a cake even if it's not my birthday, and blow out that <laughs> candle. So I got the Superman one because it was super cheap. Superman, super cheap. <laughs> and then they also had a Spider-Man one. They are $3. These are cool freaking candles. So the Spider-Man candle and also the Superman candle. Just really cool little like, you know, little details to add on to a cake. And you can blow those guys out and have a nice good freaking day. Awesome. All right, next bag we grab this guy because we don't leave a freaking sealed sponge behind ever. Oh, they stapled the ceiling. Those. Suckers. <laughs> he called them suckers. That's almost worse than any kind of curse word you call somebody. <laughs> like, call somebody crappy. Like, you know, that, that's messed up, but calling them a sucker. <laughs> that's like, damn. You lost all respect. <laughs> so we have in this a Little Mermaid toys, but these are from the new Little Mermaid. This is not my Sebastian. This is the new Disney Sebastian. And then Wakanda forever. Yeah, the, these are the worst. Like, you see these toys literally everywhere. These and the freaking Eternals ones you see everywhere. Um, I, I mean, the new Disney Little Mermaid isn't bad, but I just have no interest in collecting any of the figures or toys or characters from that movie. Same way I did with the new Lion King. Cool movie, it was great, but I'm not gonna collect any of the stuff for it. Probably not. So now let's check these out. So here is a list all of the Toy Story characters that we need to complete this set. Pop it open. So, Jesse. 
I see Jesse there, checked off. Gabby Gabby with the teacup. See her there, checked off. Woody, AKA Jim Hanks, not Tim Hanks, this is a toy. So it's voiced by Jim Hanks. We got him there. And then we have Bunny and also Ducky. So I'm gonna say, boom, we got him checked off too. So that's four. Next up we have the Duke Kaboom, which is the one of the hardest, or no wait, this is Forky. This is Forky, so don't do the Kaboom yet. Or then next up, we have the Rex and Trixie, the spinner here, Dang. and that one is checked off, so another one. All right, come on, we got five arrows, come on, we can complete this. We so we six in total so far. We have the Buzz Lightyear set right there. We got seven. Boom, seven. We have the Bo Peep, bring it to eight. It's gonna be a freaking train, what do you mean RV? <laughs> I think we just need Duke. I'm pretty what, sure what about we just the need Duke. Oh, and the aliens, you're right. Come on. Come on, duke -a boom and the aliens, let's go, come on. Ah, oh, Gabby Gabby, Bo Peep Bo Peep, Forky Forky, the aliens! Yeah. Okay, so we have the aliens right there. Come on, we're almost there. We just need a Duke. Oh. Last bag for a Duke Kaboom. Let's do it. Come on, Duke. Duke Kaboom. You can do it. Nobody crashes like you, Duke. We have Buzz, Jesse, Woody. Oh my gosh, did I miss the Duke Kaboom? I think I saw Forky and I thought it was Duke Kaboom. Oh no. Damn it. There is no new kaboom. One to go. One to go. Then at this point I should have just bought it online, but I just kind of wanted to like say we found them in the wild. Duke kaboom, man. I told you that's a hard one to find. Like he's like the hardest character to see in the wild. So I will go back there and look for that new kaboom. And if I find him, we'll be getting a bonus video of me building this friggin' damn set. All right, so we'll have to stay tuned for Duke kaboom. But I mean, that's decent, you know, at least we got the nine out of the 10. We'll keep looking out for that Duke. All right, so I'm gonna say not worth it. <laughs> <laughs> I think you get the whole set online for like 30 bucks, 40 bucks. I paid like 17 bucks for all of these. So I mean, that's, that's kind of a lot to not get the Duke. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so not worth it on the Toy Story ones, but this does count towards your haul, Mitchell. Oh, wow. <laughs> yep. <laughs> this missing Duke Kaboom does count towards your haul. But that was just your bags, man. What's your bag, man? But that's not, let's not give up on Mitchell's haul here so far, so quick, you know, because we have some other stuff to check out. We have some other stuff to check out. So we have the Scooby-Doo puzzle that you found here, and there's a one of one. One is a hundred and, oh, man. Hopefully all the pieces are there. There's a 20-piece puzzle, a 36 and a 50. 60, making a total of 106, which is a very weird number. So we already got one little freebie there with the Scooby and Shaggy. That is a, the quality is really nice yeah, though. Yeah, it's like kind of got like a texture to it too. It's really nice. I, I'll, I'll yeah, say that's Hannah already Mark a Bear. W right there. And then you have a Scooby and Shaggy right here that's kind of like semi-built as well. All right, so we built two of the puzzle. That last one was just a, a little too advanced for this moment, but they're actually the same size as they just get smaller. Yeah, like this is like one piece here and then, then this one piece is equal to like two. It wouldn't be the worst idea to get that last one and kind of get like a little frame, you know? Yeah, that'd be cool. A little Shaggy and Scooby like friendship kind of combined to one. This is the best one though. Yeah, I love this one. And I, I know for this guy, I remember him being appearing in Where Are You, but I don't know where this general ghost has ever appeared. I don't even think they are anything. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. but the, I, the quality is incredible on them and I love the color scheme. It's purple, gold, and green to match Scooby's collar and the purple is just kind of the overall Scooby-Doo aesthetic and like the spooky factor. Really cool puzzle set for only $3. I'd say worth it. I mean, a, a dollar a puzzle, why worth not? Worth it, yeah. Yeah, I'd say worth it. I mean, I love Scooby whenever we can see him, so we got the Scooby-Doo puzzle there. Okay, next up, you got a lot of good stuff today, so I'm trying to go with the board games first here. Next up, we have the Pokemon Monopoly. Yeah. And I think all of that is still there, but we're gonna pop it open anyway, so we can get some nice, good 360 shots of those pieces. I mean, that's just freaking cool. So, I mean, it has most of the money in there, it looks like, if not all of it. And I mean, come on, dude, you get a little bonus here, too. So you have the dice, you get two rubber bands for free. <laughs> you get all the cards here. And I just kind of want to check them out closer to see what these even were, so. You get all the free T-Rex. This is, <laughs> this is your pallet town house. This is Little Root. And this is when you become the champion of both regions. Yeah. <laughs> but you get, you get Bulbasaur, Squirtle, Charmander, Eevee. Yeah. Well, in the Pokedex order, you get Pikachu, Eevee, and then also in Pokedex order, I'm pretty sure it goes like this. Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff. So there we go, we have all of them. And then a bonus, you get Tyrantrum. 
as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm from Generation 5. You get a T-Rex. So, I mean, you can't really... Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> no, you can't beat a T-Rex. Even you. You're just a lizard. The cards are cool, though. I mean, you get Professor Oak's Lab as a location. You got freaking Tauros on there. You got the freaking Elite Four. Are you kidding me? You got Bruno Lance. You got the freaking Elite Four right there. You got Venomoth. Just pretty cool to see all the different cards from Kanto just in general. I gotta say, I mean, you've seen in my, my room already in the Pokemon collection. I have the original Pokemon, like, pieces from the original Pokemon Monopoly. Yeah. I am gonna put these on the shelf. These ones right here, the uh, die-cast versions of them on that same little sign that says Welcome Trainers. I honestly just wanted you to get this just for the... That's the, what I would have done too. Yeah, yeah. Just for the little figures. So, I mean, the fact that they have them is a bonus. But I don't know why it has eight slots here. So you can see there's one, two, three, four, six. And the box says you get six. Seven, eight. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. I'll say worth it. Just for the pieces alone, I think it's worth yeah, it. Yeah, worth it. Six metal tokens. Heck yeah. <laughs> so hey. we have the... Awesome SpongeBob operation game, and like I said, this is missing a lot of the cards and stuff. Oh, more than dang. likely, five hundred sponge bucks. Five hundred sponge bucks with Stephen Hillenburg. What does that get me? I love how Stephen Hillenburg's signature is there, <laughs> like it is on the actual money. They have that signature that I don't even know whose signature it is, but it's there. What can I buy with five hundred sponge bucks? Five hundred sponge bucks. Um, okay. I mean, you can get a lot of the Krusty Krab. You can get almost. I can get the whole menu. You can get almost freaking one hundred. You can almost get five hundred salty dogs. Dang. <laughs> and we've played this on the channel before, I believe. We lost a piece. Lost if a piece. not, we have to do a video playing and challenging each other in SpongeBob Operation. I'm not 100% sure, but I feel like we may have played this on the show before. You have the horn there. You get a Krabby Patty, a luggage, his brain, which Plankton probably would have taken if he would have known it was in here. An oiler can, it looks like. It's elbow grease. Uh -huh. Elbow grease. You get a wrench. You get a spark of brilliance. A chum bucket evil thoughts hat from the movie. That is a cool little ad to put in there a thinking cap plankton's truth serum and finally clammy hands i think the coolest thing is that freaking chum bucket hat from the movie that is just a cool little addition and of course you can see you're actually in plankton's lab where he's kind of experimenting on spongebob so i checked it out we have all 24 cards we have all the pieces in there the board the manuals in here the board looks clean a uh, complete version of this retail goes for about 20 to 30 bucks so i, I gotta give you a worth it all day. I'll take that. Yeah, hella worth it. I mean, awesome. One of the coolest boxes ever, too. Even though Patrick and Squidward are probably like the laziest and the worst doctor you could probably have. <laughs> True. <laughs> Next up, we have Pest of the West. So you guys know we did this video categorizing every single SpongeBob special release DVD in correct order, and we were missing six of them. Now, one of them we somehow managed to miss was Pest of the West. So let's clean this cover up a little bit here. All right, so we can finally check off the Pest of the West. So let's go ahead and put this guy inside of his protector. Oh man, it always looks so clean going in the yeah. sleeve. So Pest of the West, this means we only need six SpongeBob five. special releases to add to the collection. Only five. Oh, only five, you have six. So this is this is the six. So five left to complete this entire, every single SpongeBob special release DVD ever. Every single special on film on disc in the collection. Only five more to go, baby. And we are gonna be looking out for them. So, I think for this one, the box is solid. Great, not too scratched up, not too scraped up. The disc could be better though. So let's do, I don't know, six out of 10 needs a new disc. Yeah. All right. And then insert if there's one. Yeah, and insert if, if had. Because I'm pretty sure it does have one for this one. Okay, so we're always looking out for completion's sake. Very, very soon we're going to have a, a printout of every single thing with what it needs to. So that way when we go to these hunts, I mean, we saw some other DVDs there. But maybe it would have been a, not a bad idea to maybe just get some of them for their inserts in certain circumstances. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, just ones we need. Yeah, if we needed it. But we got so much other stuff that it was okay. But like maybe if it's a dry day, you know, we see some SpongeBob DVDs. Maybe in some cases it might be worth it just to get it for the box and the insert, even if the disc is shot. But this one's six out of ten. 
adding it to the collection, checking Pest of the West off the list. Okay, next up, you got the sponge cup. And I've never seen, you know what? I've never seen this cup like this before, but I think if I'm correct, I believe this cup came in like a holiday pack with like marshmallows and stuff. Yeah, it's probably a hot chocolate. Yeah, I think it was in a hot, like a hot chocolate, exactly, a hot chocolate like gift set. And I'll always take a new SpongeBob mug or any new SpongeBob item we can add to the collection. So that is just awesome. Inst I mean, it's sponge. It's an instant worth it for me. He's our golden ticket on this channel. It's very few times we'll ever give a SpongeBob item not worth it. Worth it. Even if it was five bucks, I would give it worth it. It was three bucks. So it's <laughs> worth it for sure. Okay, so now we got plushies. Let's do this. Okay, so first off here, we had the Care Bear, and he is in the cat outfit. I just think this is so cute. Of course, classic Care Bear. You have the little heart on the bum there. You have the little hearts on their actual, you know, paws too. And then the little hoodie comes off. Oh yeah. So it's just a regular old sunshine bear. But the fact that he's a cat, now that freaking amazing. That Adorable. makes him six times more cute and more huggable yeah. <laughs> being a cat. So let's check him out. He goes for about 10 bucks, but I think he's just so cute anyway. So the 349 I think worth it. But you know, we're still seeing a very a lack of turtles. A very lack of turtles. <laughs> Next up, we have Ice Bear, which that was a clutch find. So Chef Ice Bear, he actually is kind of a semi-rare one. He is uh, about 25 bucks. Oh yeah. Yeah, and you said you really liked him though, right? Oh, I love, yeah, he's adorable. So this one is going straight to Mitchell. Oh, he is. brought us some mac and cheese that we're gonna be doing for a Patreon only video. He bought us a couple boxes of that, so consider it a trade. Oh, you could have you. Ice Bear coming your way. So. Ice Bear, I would say, is definitely worth it. And then Mitchell got to add something new to his collection, double worth it. So huge worth it on screen. All right, so next up we have Pebbles. I mean, she's got a whole cereal named after her. Fruity Pebbles. Fruity Pebbles. So I, mean, I think that's already a worth it. This is a arcade plushie, so it's one you would have been able to get from a claw machine. One I would ne never be able to get, because so far in our streak on this show, I've never won one claw machine. <laughs> well, they give you the weakest claws. It's just like, uh, uh. <laughs> Even the freaking one at the Cartoon Network Hotel, I never won. The guy just felt so bad for me that he just gave me a plushie. So I've never successfully won a claw machine, but one day on this channel, that's gonna happen, and remember this day. But this guy was from a claw machine, and she was $3.49. Uh, retail, they go for about anywhere from uh, 8 to $12, so I think that's worth it for sure. Plus, you don't really see Flintstone stuff, so. Exactly, that's a that's a huge aspect of it. You, it's very rare to see Flintstone stuff in modern, you know, 2023, so huge win. And she doesn't have the, sh the shaggy issue with the his yeah. arcade plushie where you can just pull his hair back. His Her hair is actually stitched in there. So, worth it on screen. All right, so your final item here, Mitchell. The banger. The banger, absolutely. Oh, oh Pokemon yeah. Pokemon bedspread here. Amazing. This thing is just sick. Like, that is just nostalgic as all freaking hell, man. Like, come on. How can you ever sleep on a normal bedspread when things like this exist? <laughs> like, this is incredible. This is beautiful. You have freaking Snorlax on here, freaking OG, freaking Eevee, Pikachu, and then you have the smaller printouts of them, too. So you get, like, freaking Butterfree, Hitmonchan, Electabuzz, Goldeen. Do duo. There is so many Arcanine. Are you kidding me? A freaking Clefairy. There is just some oh man. Like I can't wait to watch this guy because I already want to lay on it. Yeah. <laughs> it's so satisfying. Like you know, it just puts you in that '90s vibe. Seeing something like that. Look at that Scyther, man. Look at that Scyther. Look at that little mod shop right there. Magmar. There's so many good Pokemon. All right. So I mean, that for, for me, I mean, it's ten dollars, but the fact that I'm gonna use this it makes it worth it to me. Like even if it's just something I put in the bottom of the bed for hunting or a daisy that's like just it's just invaluable it's just yeah. so, cool. so worth it i don't even care what it's worth it may go for more it may go for less but to me worth it all right guys so you guys let us know who won this episode of versus i don't know but i'm just saying you know i got yeah yeah pretty covered of my category you guys let me know what you guys think in the comments down below as always me and mitchell are best friends and this is just a game that we like to play and just a little bit of a competition friendly competition of course at the end of the day we both just want to make the video cool for you guys so i hope you guys enjoyed it but let us know your opinion down below but before that stay tuned i gotta add a couple items here to the collection but before that you know the drill scan it
Okay, so it's the next day and I finished the Toy Story set. They are all here. I even went back to get the Duke of Boom because I knew they had more. So I did find one Duke of Boom. I looked at all the bags there and there was only one Duke. So he's got to be like the most rare of the set. But we have the entire tin here. So expect that little bonus video to be coming out eventually. I can't wait to build it to add it to the Toy Story collection. But let's add some of the stuff to the shelves right now. First guy we got to start with is our brand new, well not brand new, but our new addition to the Spongebob collection, the Pest of the West. Seriously, can't believe we didn't already have this. Okay, so Pest of the West, a little dark here, but we're gonna have to put this right in between Atlantis Square Pantis and also to love a Krabby Patty. So that's where it goes. And now, boom, we've only got five left to complete every single Spongebob special DVD release. Okay, and for the DVDs, these are gonna go my personal DVD collection. I would love to put this TMNT one here in the room, but it's not technically when Nickelodeon owned the franchise, but I still love it, so it's just gonna go on my DVD collection. Mug's gonna be added into the vault with all of our other SpongeBob mugs and drinkware. Okay, and for the Looney Tunes back in action, I'm just adding this in here with my other VHSs. All right, so Wally and Eve have been added onto the shelf with all of our adorables and our huge variety of different Disney characters and item pieces. I just like adding my favorite characters and them two are definitely in that group. And Mike, he's right here with his very own scare canister. <laughs> Alright guys, so that is it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new here so you guys do not miss any of the future videos coming. And if you want to support the show further, go check out Patreon. It is the number one way to watch comfort cartoons. You'll get an extended version of this video as well as a bunch of other perks. And if you guys haven't already, go follow me on Whatnot. When you sign up, you get 15 bucks for free. And we're working on doing a giveaway where you'll be able to win all of this stuff and more as we get this going going and all of us gonna be giving away to one person sometime in December we're gonna keep adding items in there as time goes on too so stay tuned and make sure you guys go check out whatnot so you can be there when that giveaway happens and like I said you get free $15 for anything you pick up or you can just buy something for free that's under $15 so that link will be down below but thank you so much for watching this video as always I'll see you guys over here in this video that I know you're gonna love but as always rep pack I hope every single one of you beautiful people has an amazing day and I'll see you guys in the next one adios and bloop